Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 70. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alrighty, yo, we're here around Sunset Peninsula infield. Um, we're going to be taking... Uh, it's, it's basically an endurance race. Our two vehicles, we're going to be taking the Zonda. Uh, 40 laps. Let's go. All right. All left, all up, all down. All round, all round. I don't know. Let's go. We got the Zonda for this. I'm predicting we're going to be, well, 40 laps. I'm hoping that we can push for 15 laps on... Oh my god, that Nissan's already destroyed. He's going to have a tough race. I'm going to push for 15, 15, and then 10 laps for the final stint. Yo, Wolfie, what's up? How are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing good, Wolfie. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, yeah, we're about to do 40 laps around this uh, awesome track. I'm not sure if we did an endurance around here on um, Motorsport 1. I think we might have with the Porsches, if I'm not mistaken. You and me on the run, can I be your plus one? Already done two laps, so we are 5% through this race. What is this? I know it's a prodigy. Oh, it's your no good for me. I don't need nobody. Don't need no one. That's no good for me. Are oh, you ball bag? Now that's how you do a U turn. <laughs> Fully intentional. Come 
that car that crashed is. Or if they've pitted to get rid of the damage, I'm not sure. If they've pitted, they'll be a substantial distance behind because the pit lane on this track is ridiculously long. I don't think they pitted. Me trying to play for speedrun Forza to play WRC intensifies. <laughs> That was brilliant. That's no good me. Run. Ow, ow, ow. No good for me, I don't need nobody. No one, that's no good for me. No, no good for me, I don't need nobody. Don't need no one, that's no good for me. Cheap but good. Uh, recommendation would be either a Logitech or I believe the Thrustmasters are actually pretty good now. Um, but they're going to sit you back. If you're looking for a good one, it's going to cost at least $200. The thing is, whenever it comes to sim racing, you do not want a cheap wheel. Because bungee cord wheels make you worse like straight up worse so you're not going to be you need a wheel that has force feedback um if you look at some of the cheaper thrustmaster ones they can sell you them for like 70 pound about 80 dollars something like that I mean, 100 dollars. i don't know how much they are now um but the only thing is that those use bungee cords to center the wheels so they're just self-centering they're not actual feedback and they are horrendous i had one before and it was it the worst thing ever i refunded it to argos because it's not working as well but. <laughs> Thing is, my steering wheel's out of warranty now, so if it goes bang, I have to buy a new one. But that's a good thing, because if it goes bang, I'm buying a PlayStation one. So, woohoo!
Not too bad. Uh, how is our tire wear looking? Let's take a look at our telemetry. We've got a substantial amount of wear always happening on the rears because, you know, they're the accelerating tyres. But when we're turning, there's like a huge amount of wear. How is that only two Gs around the corner? I thought this would be a substantial amount more Gs in the corner. Okay, so those rear tyres are starting to wear out. They're at 42% at the moment. Temperatures are hot. But I believe the temps of these can actually go a little warmer than... Uh, than, than the road tyres, so... Because normally the road tyres, they start going yellow at about... 95, I believe. 95 or 100, something like that. Damage wise, we have no damage other than uh, the tire wear. Almost got damage though. I want to get a picture of the car with smoke coming out of its behind. But if I want to do that, I have to get the photo on track while I'm driving. Things I have to pause the recording. I'll do it. Why not? Here we go. Let's get our thumbnail now. Obviously, once we get closer. Go. Joe, you know what? I think it's kind of funny. Here we go. All right, here we go. Carrying on. Yes, Ferrari moment. <laughs> the car's broken down. It's on fire. This again, I believe this was on the original Motorstorm. It's pit a hundred times in two laps. So many pit stops. The thing is, I can either go for a two stop or a three stop. Uh, I know for a fact when it comes to Sebring, I believe Sebring is 35 laps. Uh, I'm probably going to end up doing a three-stop strategy. I love those chrome exhaust tips. They're beautiful.
Right, so we are going for 15 laps on this first stint. Then uh, I don't know whether I'm going to go 10 for the middle one or 10 for the final one. I'm not going to lie, they have made some good strategy decisions and they have made some bad ones. Um, but yeah, Ferrari strategists are not... The past three races... Oh shit, I was in reverse, I didn't realise. That's not ideal. Fine, son. And the morning will come soon. Yeah, they basically just completely destroyed their season. Stand my own ground. I don't need your help now. You won't let me down, 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 down. What a fucking tune. I do find it funny that you keep typing pastry. <laughs> Oscar pastry. <laughs> yeah, Pi Piastri. This whole Piastri drama is a bit weird. So I think a lot of people are taking it out of proportion because the only thing that Oscar Piastri's actually said is the fact that he hasn't signed a contract yet with Alpine. He said, I will not be racing next year. And then he said, I have not signed a contract. I think people have just taken that as just, he said, I'm not racing for Alpine next year. And just denied his contract. And that's why people are blowing this all out of proportion. I think he's going to Alpine. But I think Alpine just jumped the gun. And he's still in discussions over his contract. So. I'm not sure. I don't think he'll go to McLaren. Not next year at all, because Danny Rick is, has a contract for three years. He had it for 2021, 22, and 23. I don't see McLaren getting rid of him, because their car's not competitive enough to be in with a, you know, cha a fighting chance anyways. So there's no point getting rid of a driver and spending money to get rid of a driver. So Danny Rick is staying next year. Lando Norris is staying next year, obviously. Lando's staying for, like, 10 years. It's crazy. I think he's staying until 2026, 20, I think. 2026. That's how long his contract's for. And bearing in mind, his first season was 2019, so that would be... Eight years. No. Yeah, eight years with... McLaren as a minimum which is pretty cool but I see Lando staying in for a lot more Mr. Hull rant about cheap wheels oh yeah so uh, basically you, do, you have to make sure you're buying a wheel that's got force feedback. Whether it's belt driven, direct drive, whatever. Has to be force feedback if you're using a wheel. Because the cheaper Thrustmasters, they use basically just bungee ropes to center the wheel. So they don't give you any feedback as to what the car's doing. So it's just going to feel shit. You may as well just use a normal controller at that point. Um... So yeah, as long as you're using a bungee wheel, uh, not a bungee wheel, a uh, force feedback wheel, and you stay away from bungee wheels, you should be fine. And make sure you get one that's got a semi-decent 
length warranty, two, two plus years, three years, something like that. There are a couple of uh, Thrustmaster options. I think there's the T something. Logitech. Stuff like that. It's the T248, maybe? Might be the cheaper one. That Thrustmaster does. You got the T300. Uh, G920 from Logitech. G29 from Logitech. G923 from Logitech. Um... Yeah, those are the cheap ones. Then if you want an expensive, you've got Fanatec and stuff like that that you can buy. I wouldn't recommend it if you're looking for a cheap one. Or expensive. Fanatec's like two grand. <laughs> so much younger. Can't you be... More European bastard, child of guilt and shit, aim. That is actually fairly cheap, because it's about uh, £279 in the UK. Uh, which translates to around about $330. I'd recommend getting the G29, because it has more buttons, and it works on PlayStation. So... Holy shit! I didn't realize tires could go out that quick and be like. undrivable. What the fuck? Are they completely gone? Ah, 95%! <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, the G29 works on PlayStation and PC. Uh, and the G920 works on Xbox and PC. So when you're thinking the G29 has extra buttons and it works on PlayStation, which means you can try out stuff like Gran Turismo, it's a much better option, in my opinion. Oh, we're finally in the fucking pit lane. Let's go, lads. Let's get some new uh, rubbers on here. Fresh new tires. So both me and the car in front. I think the pit time is exactly the same for every car. For one moment 
your finger tips. PG tips. Tips. <laughs> tips. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> I love pastry both to eat and watch. <laughs> mm, pastry. Hey, nice one, Alex. Four and a half hours is pretty good. I'm about to do six. <laughs> no, but yeah, that's pretty good. Well done, man. You are created on the bubbles at night. I chase them around and try to pop them all the time. Yeah, so the VR experience is good. It, it's just the only thing that you need to make it feel immersive is a steering wheel. It's hard to explain, and obviously you... I assume you don't have anyone that has a sim wheel and a VR setup that you can actually try it out. Um... But it is a game changer. A steering wheel and a VR headset with a car. It's phenomenal. You can do it for hours. If it wasn't for the fact that sitting in VR for hours are actually like... The sweat is just ridiculous. Okay. He's in love with moral slip. Well, he came back and claimed the change. Yeah. Ask him again. Should let it go. What did you? Yeah, I wouldn't recommend sleeping downstairs because there's other people there. I hate sleeping like I don't know. I don't like sleeping around people. I feel weird about it. Mainly because I don't trust other people. Let's be honest. <laughs> Right, so we're looking good. Uh, we've got another 10 laps of this stint left to go. We're at the halfway point. 29 minutes.
So more than likely we'll be looking at around about 59 minutes for this race in total. Whoa! That's what she said. I'm not going to lie though, this car is really flowing around this track. Oh yeah, so the car in front's repaired its engine now. And I've just said fuck you and knocked it out of the way. I want to try and get my um, best lap time down to 121 flat. I want to see if I can squeeze that much time out of it. Basically, to be fully immersive, um, you need uh, a wheel and a VR headset. That is the most immersive experience you can get. So, you know, it's, it's definitely a tough one to try and get into without spending money. I mean, for a lot of people, they just have to bite the bullet and go for it. But the good thing about sim wheels is they actually resell quite well if they're in good condition. So by all means, like, even after using it for a year, my wheel I could sell on for 150 quid quite easily and get pretty much all of my money back. Invaders must die. Too bad. There we go. I think this is the lap. No, it's not. Oh, it was going so well. Fuck. Ah, fucking hell. Wow. Ah, oh, that was a sneeze and a half.
I do, but I'm not a great fan of, fan of it at the moment. Just not really had the urge to play it. They haven't got an official VR mode for it, which is kind of the problem that I have because I can't swap between VR and normal flat screen, so I have the VR version. And as well, the VR version is hard to stream because there's no actual... Um, What's it called? Monitoring built into Euro Truck Sim 2. So, yeah, I, I just don't really feel like playing it. Until they bring out an update where Oculus mode is actually good, I'm not playing it. Whoa. Yeah, that's why I said. It's just every time I want to play it, I have to be in VR. And to set up the wheel and VR, just for Euro Truck Sim, can't be bothered. Because I only end up playing it for a short while anyways. Yeah, these tires are starting to run out now. I've lost a wing mirror, I've just noticed. Wing mirror's gone! No! Ruffrow! Right, so these next four laps are going to be extremely tough. Uh, because this is where we're going to start seeing that tyre wear kicking in big time. I mean, if we look at uh, tyres and miscellaneous, we're at Minecraft VR is pretty fun, but again, it's Minecraft. I just can't get into Minecraft anymore. It doesn't interest me. There's nothing new about it. And I mean, the VR version is extremely difficult to do stuff in. So, to do like proper sized projects. Hello there. I really don't think the hello there is working. I need to work out why it's not working and fix it, but... You can't be buffered! Well, I can, just not right now. <laughs> I'm in the middle of a race! I don't even think Microsoft was fucking over the game. As per se. Because Microsoft have done some good updates to the game. They added some good shit to Minecraft. It's just there's nothing interesting. I'm someone who likes building redstone stuff, personally. 
but a majority of the stuff that's been added hasn't been redstone related items. So for me, Minecraft is, by all means, they've added other stuff, but they haven't added any anything to do with redstone for like three years. Yeah, I, d I don't know anything about that. But in terms of like redstone stuff, there's nothing that's been added for three years. Like at that point, there's nothing that I find interesting. So, Minecraft could go sun itself. I gotta be extremely careful because these tires are going off. Like the way you used to do. This was in a uh, Need to Be Payback, I believe. Yeah, so the rear is starting to step out quite a bit now. Oh! Let me slide! Okay, it's just about under control. Oh, not good. Like the way you used to do. Right, let's get into the pits. We'll do a pit stop. And I'm gonna turn on the light. There we go. Lighting is on. And I got back just in time. But the pit stop is done. Like the way you used to do. Still much faster than Ferrari, agree. <laughs> Anything could be faster than Ferrari at this point. Like, let's be honest, right? Ferrari. The past few years has had such a shit engine, such a shit car, that when they finally have a shit, a really good car, the one thing that's letting them down is their own team, their own decisions. Ah, uh, look, my penalty time is boo. <laughs> 
boob. I gotta keep it. I gotta keep it. I gotta keep it that way. Oh no, you pleb. Now it says nine oob. I wanted, I wanted boob seconds of penalty. I'm sad now. Ah, shit. The beast is ugly. Charles and Carlos have always been ready for championships. Same with uh, Lewis Hamilton is still ready for a championship. Max Verstappen's ready for a championship. Um, Carlos maybe a little less. I'm not sure. Wow, big punch. Um, but yeah, they're ready for a championship fight. Same with Lando Norris. He's ready for a championship fight. The only thing is they don't have competitive cars. <laughs> Latifi is ready. Yeah, Latifi, uh... Nah. Feel like a monster. Feel like a monster. I... I feel like a monster. Oh, balls. Yeah, that uh, that tweet that Albon sent out was fucking hilarious. Okay, I'm going to have to do another pit stop. Get him a Red Bull seat. Get him a Red Bull seat. Yeah, I'm not driving this uh, broken-ass car for another few laps, so I'll just go into the pits and... Take another pit stop. I got enough time anyways. I must confess that I feel like a monster. I'm not even touching. There you go. I'm touching it now. Not touching it at all. And it just whoop straight over. I... I feel like a monster. It is. It is mechanic CG going very slowly at the moment. Monty color pen on my skin. Just repaired it! How did that damage it? How? It was bad. <laughs> I'm fucking livid! No way. No. I'm gonna cry. I can't do a fake cry. Alright, <laughs> uh, looks like we do have to use a damaged steering wheel then. It's like the game just w was like... No, I gave you a damaged steering wheel, you can fucking use it. <laughs> Means I can't do anything on the straight now. Can't do nothing. I can't drink, I can't... Whatever. I 
คะเอ็ดดิ้นสแกมมี่ดิสไทม์เอ็ดดิ้นสแกมมี่ But I will admit, I haven't got my shit very loud. That it is scary. <laughs> so. <laughs> Car's ready to make a left turn. It is. It's on Tesla autopilot mode. By the way, chat, I want everyone to spam the GG stickers when we finish uh, when we finish this race. It should be on the um, either in the top right corner of the chat on mobile or below the video feed on PC. You should see an extension called Stream Stickers. I want to see them spammed like crazy when we cross that finishing line. I think we got another. I don't even know how long we got, but we're not getting a best lap time now. So that 122.128 was our best. I love how the rear of the car is pristine, pretty much. Move! That Nissan, I have no clue why it exists in this game, but it is so slow. Not bad. We've got four more laps left to go. Let's do this, chat. Let's do this. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Thank you for the posture check. And uh, thank you for the drink. This is going to be a challenge. Oh my god, that was tough. <laughs> Trying to do that one-handed. I did not like that. I am the god of driving with one hand on the controller. It's brilliant. Like, I, I could do... Actually, no. Not while I'm in manual mode. Yeah, no. 
<laughs> it doesn't work on a PlayStation controller as easily, I'll be honest. <laughs> Xbox controllers are much easier to do that shit with. But, to be fair, the thumbstick is in the correct pos in the Well, not the correct position. It's in the ideal position to do it. One-handed. Kimmy, you will not have to drink. Kimmy, no drink for you today. I should get a drink button. I like have a straw and it just forces me to drink <laughs> every time. <laughs> like an automated drinks dispenser. Every time someone does channel points, I will have the drink. Oh, see, here's the thing. So, with how Forza does steering input, with damage steering, you can steer normally. So, if I'm steering with my steering wheel, like, I can steer as normal. Like, this is how the car normally handles. But as soon as you center, it will pull to the side. Which means you can never go straight when you've got damaged steering, right? Realistically, in a real car, if you've got damaged steering, you just turn the wheel a little more. Normally, that straightens it out. It just means your wheel's in a funny position. Hey, boy. Girl. Here we go. Right, one more lap. Let's do this. Here we go. Here we go. Balls to the walls. That's what she said. Do you know one track we haven't seen in a while in these races? New York Circuit. Haven't seen that in a while, have we? Come on, let's get a final pass on this Porsche. Move out of the way. Oh no, we're not going to get it. Alright. Result. I will take that. 216 grand. We're obviously max level. Uh, yeah, looks good. GG! <laughs> so we got the Takata Dome NSX. Very nice. We got 108 grand. Stickers! Not bad. Love their job, Blair. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.